What's up everyone? Welcome back to WX Garage. So, um, I have my hood open, which means that we're gonna be doing something in the engine bay, which means we're gonna be doing something pretty cool today, right? So, uh, in this box right here, I have something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Uh, we got a nice shipment in from Faction Fab. Um, we actually gave away one of these um, a while back. I'll link that video down below. But what we have here is the Faction Fab pitch stop mount. And so, this thing, first of all, it just, it's gorgeous. This is solid metal, nice and heavy. We got a metal reinforced sleeve for this big, big bushing. And then we have a, a metal bushing here, which allows for the engine side to torque uh, 20 degrees either way, which is really cool because it means that you're going to be protecting your firewall. Because on, on our cars, the polyurethane bushing or the, the, the really cheap plastic OEM bushing or the pitch stop in the back of the engine underneath the top mount, um, it actually flexes that firewall mount a lot and sometimes they snap off. So we're gonna be replacing the crappy OEM one with Faction Fab's amazing reinforced one. It's gonna help with better driving feel. It's gonna help with that really weird bucking sensation people get. Um, you know, when you're when you're letting off gas, you're going on to gas, when you can feel the engine moving around in, in the moving that drivetrain. So we're gonna be taking that slop out with this piece right here. So you guys are over in the engine bay now. So um, very simple install. Um, Real quick, if you guys haven't seen this video or Instagram post about the Grim Speed bits here, huge shout out to Grim Speed for sending those out. They look really good in the engine bay here. Um, yeah, I'll link down below our video of installing the uh, neon version of this in uh, Jeff's STI. But um, today, the pitch stop itself is down behind the engine block in the back here. So um, first off, what we're gonna be doing is just removing the top mount intercooler, um, which I have to do kind of carefully because I have my AOS here. Um, that, I have to talk to you guys about that, but uh, that's a different story. Um, so I'm gonna be doing this, just a couple bolts on the worm clamps here and here, and then the two big bolts in the top to pull that out. Mount intercooler is out. Won't have to be dealing with this for too much longer, thanks to a certain company. A certain company. I'll let you guys figure out the rest. So, back of the block here, now that the entire engine bay is exposed, got my couple AOS lines right here. I got my. Well, we're not going to talk about that, but. <laughs> This is your OEM pitch mount right here. It's very dinky, it's very small, very plastic. And um, pretty simple, you just need to take out this bolt here and then that bolt back there. Pretty simple and, and we're just gonna slide the new one right in. Simple. And there it is. So let's do a quick side to side comparison. And I'm gonna quote the uh, <laughs> the absolute classic here. Old and busted, new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. I drive the new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. New Faction Fab is going in. Um, I did add a little bit of lithium grease 
just on the ball to help it uh, if any squeaks and then on the back side to help it slide in there. But honestly guys, it just, it fits up, it fits up perfectly. So I'm going right back in with the OEM bolt. Let's get that torqued down to spec, like you should. And that's going to be 37 and then 43 foot pounds. Uh, 47 on the, sorry, 43 up there and then 37 in the one closer to the block. I'm just gonna even it out and do 40 for both. Because why not? All right, and we don't need Done and done. Hey you guys. The, uh, everything's buttoned back up. The uh, intercooler is back on. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about really quick um, that I mentioned before was with the AOS here. So this is the Crawford V3 AOS. If you haven't seen it install video, please go check it out. Um, with the plans that I have for this car, there's going to be something in the way right here that may or may not be a nice big red pipe from a certain company. So in case you guys haven't figured out, I have a, a front mount intercooler coming with the, uh, the brand new Grimsby front mount intercooler coming. So um, that intercooler piping right from the back of the throttle body there, it comes out and mounts right here on the edge of the intake manifold, right where this AOS is. So um, I bought some extension hoses right here. Uh, Crawford themselves, they did a great job with uh, emailing back and forth about where I can mount it. And I just happen to have a cabinet bracket right here that fits perfectly where those two bolts are. So when I relocate this, because the intercooler pipe is gonna be there, while I had this intercooler off, I kind of figured out where I was gonna do it. And it's gonna be right down there on the other side where the, uh, silver bracket is that holds the top mount in. So I can just slip this underneath there and it'll, this entire canister will be relocated to like right underneath here because this charge pipe isn't gonna be there anymore. So, or yeah, not gonna be there. So yeah, so everything's all set. Uh, let's go for a ride and I'll talk, talk to you guys about, um, you know, how it feels, whether or not it's an improved feeling and all that. So cool. All right guys. It is a couple days later, uh, it's about three, four days since I installed the pitch mount from Faction Fab. And um, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to address the title, which is um, the truth about pitch stops. Um, for some reason, this one particular modification, the pitch stop itself is kind of controversial. Uh, if you look up uh, reviews for these, online and forums on youtube um there seems to be a lot of mixed reviews about some people like them some people don't the biggest issue people have is with the nvh so noise vibration and harshness so with certain mods on your cars the nvh is going to increase so for more aggressive more aggressive motor mounts more uh thinner uh thinner tires on your wheels so the thinner sidewall um larger wheels uh, more aggressive suspension, all these things are, are going to add uh, noise, they're going to add road harshness, um, and then vibrations as well. So with NVH on anything, there's obviously a payback. There is something that you're receiving in return for something that you maybe not like. So pretty much anything you do on your car, there's going to be a lot of con uh, pros, but sometimes there are some cons. And this particular one, um, is really weird for me because I personally have really not received or, or really experienced 
any of the cons that people are saying online. Let me explain. Let me uh, drive. Or, let me start driving here and just uh, talk to you guys while I'm driving. Okay. So, what exactly do people say about pitch stops that is bad? Well, for one, people say that there's way more vibration from the engine coming into the cabin as noise, but also as feeling. And people say like, oh, you know, your entire dashboard vibrates. I haven't experienced this at all. Um, the, I will say that the engine tone sounds slightly different in the cabin. Um, just sounds slightly different, a little higher pitched maybe. Um, and I do feel more vibration at, in the lower gears through the pedal and tiniest bit through the steering wheel. But overall, I re there really isn't much difference at all. One thing I will say, uh, well, two things. One, it is summer, so vibrations are gonna be less harsh right now while it's warm. So for anyone in warm climates, it, it's not even a, 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 don't give it a second thought by the pitch stop now. If you are in a super, super cold climate, you might experience more vibrations and I'll, I won't know until I experience winter. But um, the other thing I want to say is I do have dynamating in all of my doors. I don't have the full cabin. I don't have my dash. I don't have my roof or anything like that. But I do have that dynamating material to absorb some more vibration in the doors, which I don't think would make too much of a difference anyways for the pitch stop. But, so those are the things that people say are bad, right? A little more noise, more vibration, but the way that people portray it online, I think is just completely overblown. It really is not that much different at all. So those are the cons or what, these are, those are the cons really that people say. Let's talk about some of the, the pros about the pitch stop. One of the things I mentioned earlier is bucking back and forth, which is basically driveline shutter, drivetrain shutter, um, which is essentially what's happening is um, the car has a specific momentum. The entire car and the engine together all has a specific momentum and inertia in a certain direction. And as soon as you change that momentum or you change the amount of acceleration on that entire system, right, you're going to feel it in terms of uh, it's that feeling when you suddenly let off the gas, right? Or you're in between shifts, the car, you, you know, you buck forward, you lean, you're, you're, you're moved back and forth. And it's the same thing with the engine itself. So the engine and the car, because the engine is mounted and, and the entire chassis of the car is, is separate, those two system, systems are separate, they both have different inertias and different momentums when you're driving the car. So anytime you change the amount of power coming from the engine suddenly, if you suddenly let off the gas, you're suddenly, whoops. So if you suddenly let off the gas or get on gas, essentially, um, you're going to feel the engine shaking and the entire car is going to buck back and forth because you have suddenly just, it feels terrible, especially on this car. So the pitch stop pretty much eliminates it. It's most noticeable, it was most noticeable in first and second gear. Um, it's basically gone. I mean, I really, really think it's gone and it makes the car so much more enjoyable to drive. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is the shift feel is actually improved as well, uh, which a lot of people haven't talked about for some reason. And um, I do have an upgraded uh, shifting system, so I have a big old weighted shift knob. I have a pitched, uh, I have the shift uh, stop on the, the little plate. Um, I have new bushings um, up top and underneath for my for my shift as well. So my shifter. So with all those things combined, and then you add in this pitch stop. Again, it's as soon as you clutch in, the inertia of the engine stays so much more solid in place linked with the inertia and the momentum of the rest of the car and the chassis that the shifting, when you're, when in those moments when you're clutching in really hard and there's that change with the, where 
there would be a difference in between the two systems with the stock or the OEM uh, pitch stop, now you have a solid mount that's keeping everything really tight in place and not moving. And overall, when you're hard clutching in and shifting, it just feels so much smoother, even at low speeds. So, I honestly, I, I absolutely love it. Um, it really is a great, super simple, super easy to install uh, part. So if you guys have any second guesses about it, um, honestly, I'd say go for it. If you are worried that much about this much more noise in your cabin, I mean, you shouldn't be driving a Subaru anyways. These are not luxury cars. You know, these cars have really loud cabins and interiors already, and you're getting so much road noise through the suspension in these cars anyways that you're really not going to notice that much difference. So, um, yeah, the, the, the pros of the pitch stop totally, totally outweigh the cons. So that's all I have to say. Um, if you guys want to buy one of these, I'm going to drop a link down in the description. Again, huge shout out to Faction Fab for sending this over. Um, and yeah, let us know what you guys think. If you guys have any other experiences, if you, if you guys have a different experience with a pitch stop or any other kind of mods that you guys don't think is worth it, drop it down in the description. Let, me, let us know. Um, yeah, and if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We have tons of more really cool content coming out for you guys very, very soon. So uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and we will see you next week.